Hello babes, good evening loves. I don't know why I'm talking like this. I'm in my bathroom, I'm holding my tits, my nipples are poking out, and I don't want to wear a bra for you, so this is what I'm doing. People did request a hair care routine and a skincare routine. Well, not a lot of people requested it, like 30 people did. So I thought I'd just put it into a night routine because I shower at night and I also do skincare at night. I forgot to say, oh my god, oh my god, please don't fall. Okay, ugh, so gross. Oh, what the hell? Ew. Um, this is what my natural hair looked like. Oh my god, I look like Ben and Ben. <laughs> you can't really see in this terrible bathroom light. And also, I look so gross and it's so sweaty and oily and disgusting because I just work out. Oh my god, like she works out or whatever. <laughs> People are asking how I curl my hair and then I feel like once you guys find out how I do, it's gonna be like... That's it. That's God, it's so gross and sweaty. It sucks living this fitness life. No. Wait, no. what do I do? Like the TikTok thing that's like smart when. Oh my god, I look so ugly. <laughs> um, I'm gonna start quickly running over all the things that I use in the shower. What I've been using as shampoo is this thing called Suave Aloe and Water Lily Extract and Vitamin E Softening Shampoo. I don't really care what I use for like shampoo. I kind of just use whatever my mom uses. What I use, I'm pretty sure it is cheap as fuck. I don't know. I have nothing to say about it. It's just shampoo. It's just normal fucking shampoo. But I do want to say that if I wasn't in quarantine right now, what I usually use when I am in school and stuff is Tresemme. I do love like volumizing stuff and things that like bake damage because I'm damaged no I'm just because my hair is getting like pretty long and my hair is so freaking thick unlike this ass so it gets like super super heavy and it just like weighs things down so I want to add like a little you know like a little oomph on it because my face is pretty round like wait that sounds like really annoying but because I know that my face isn't that round but it so it's really good to like have like volumized hair like at the top and to the sides because you know how like if you're for forehead is wide like you would put on bangs or you would have like a little bit of fringe like you wouldn't want your hair to be flat if you have a big forehead if i wanted my face to look skinnier i would want like the volume here these two both of them are volumizing i love their conditioner i love their shampoo it smells great it's wonderful it's but it is on the expensive side, so I'm not gonna use it if I'm not trying to impress anyone. <laughs> For my conditioner, I use whatever this is. Avalon or thickening conditioner. You know, aloe vera helps like your hair grow and stuff, and then this is thickening, so I'm pretty sure my mom just buys this because her hair is falling out, which kind of makes me worried because that means that when I grow up, my hair is gonna hair fall, is gonna out, fall out, out too. This is my conditioner. I hate it. Don't buy it. I don't even know where you can buy this, but don't fucking buy it. It doesn't like break down in my hands and like when you run it through your hair, it's smooth. It's, it's not like that, love. You know, putting mayonnaise on your hair would feel so much better than whatever the hell this is. But I guess it's like organic and it makes your hair grow. What I do recommend, oh my god, this is so beat up. If you want something cheap, wait, I literally like squeezed this so hard, but it's already finished, but I still have the bottle. Anyways, so this is like three minute miracle BS. I don't really know if there's any difference, but it just like feels better when I run my fingers through my hair whenever I use this. I'm pretty sure all conditioners do the same thing but like this one has nice gold packaging and it's on the cheaper side I think how I style my hair and stuff so my hair is digitally perm so it is like a little bit easier to manipulate I just opened the door because it was so hot I my hair hasn't been permed it hasn't been touched in like a year already no no, no not a year June July August September October, in 10 months so the curls are kind of like dying already it is going back to being straight straight it's not like a hundred percent straight but it's already like 70 percent straight at this point <gasps> i lost an eyelash i wish for a clear skin <sighs> Body is not anything special. I literally just use Safeguard on my body. Today we're trying to fight off a virus. So what I do when I shower is I do shampoo, rinse it off, do conditioner, rinse it off, and then I do my body. Do not do it at the same time. Don't do shampoo, conditioner, and soap at the same time, or don't do soap, wash it off, and then shampoo, because the oils from your hair are gonna go to your body, and then it's gonna give you acne, or chest acne, and all that stuff. Okay, you cleaned your body, but then when you rinse your hair, all the oils are gonna be there. For your 
area. Don't use any of that lactacid, pH care, whatever feminine wash. Don't use it. I swear, don't freaking use that stuff because it's just gonna mess with like the pH balance of your pussy. If it works fine for you, then okay, sure, whatever. But if it's not working fine for you, I need you to take it and set it on fire and I need you to dance on it to ashes. Get rid of it. Otherwise, your pussy is gonna stink, love. We don't want that. Something that my actual doctor told me to use is a Dove wipe bar. Literally the exact one. Dove wipe bar. Or the Johnson's baby one. Those are the ones that are mild enough for your pussy. It's gonna give you like your vagina's natural scent. My pussy soap is different from my body soap. I can hear my brother and he's probably hearing me talking about pussies right now. I'm gonna brush my teeth. I don't know, am I supposed to recommend toothbrushes to you i don't know how this works <laughs> and then i'm gonna tell you how i whiten my teeth too <laughs> what i use for my soap oh i don't know how to tell you because it's literally from my dermatologist it's just plain green soap that's what it looks like it's just green soap i don't know what the ingredients are i don't know what he put in there let me put on a beauty guru headband so what i do i take the soap I rub my fingers at the top of it and then I put it on my face. I massage this like very gently. Don't ever be violent with your face or else your face is gonna be violent with you. And my face is especially violent with me. And I do this for one minute straight. I have started washing my face for one minute straight because my friend sent me like this video of this aesthetician. She explained it entirely why you should do it and I'm I'll just like link it down below. I usually just be like and then like wash it off but apparently you're supposed to do it for way longer than that i've lost count um, I've been doing it for a week now or two weeks now when I first started infusing this Also, I forgot to say when you're like massaging your face like do like those like upward motions to encourage your skin to not sag because when we age our face gets Saggy like our butt <laughs> Also, by the way, if I were wearing makeup, this is a Whiten my teeth. I use this thing called smile beam. This video is actually sponsored <laughs> Somebody please sponsor me. Just kidding. I feel like nobody would sponsor me knowing that I keep saying the word pussy in all my videos, but like that's okay. I've also changed into my jammies, but I use this thing to whiten my teeth. I'll link it down below, even though I'm not gonna get anything back from it. The results are pretty fast, so I would understand why people just want to be like, oh, I'm gonna do this every single day, but don't do this like in intervals because if you do it every single night, your gums are gonna burn. And trust me, I learned that the hard way. Way. I don't really want to do like an in-depth skincare video because I still haven't really figured my shit out. I don't want to just be like, oh my god, this is the product I use, even though like I don't actually fully believe in it. Like I'm not gonna play you guys like that because I am so sick of people telling me buy these stuff because it's so good. These skin is so good. I was like, trust me, 99% of that is just so. Even though my skin is not perfect, I have acquired so much knowledge from the amount of time and money and effort I have put into my skin. There's so much things that goes into your skin. It can't just be explained in like, oh, this is what I put on my face. Like, So I am just gonna quickly run through it. My toner is from a dermatologist. I don't really know if this is good. Like when I finish with this one, because this one is so expensive. This literally costs me 800 pesos, I think. I'm pretty sure it's 800 pesos, but I really want to like search for something that's a way cheaper alternative because I'm so done spending so much money on these products and i'm gonna tone my face anyway i was talking about this one i've heard like some people who just remove their makeup use their micellar water on their face and then just sleep or they use like micellar water after washing their face or something like they use it as a toner and that's like so <laughs> please don't do that you should know that makeup remover micellar water oh my god just burped this literally if you shake it up it's bubbling because it is a detergent You're supposed to wash that off next product i have is another thing from a dermatologist but it's not from my dermatologist it's from my boyfriend's dermatologist 
because things I've been using for my other dermatologist are just not working for me anymore and then he's been giving me this because his dermatologist is his aunt so <laughs> I'm kind of like benefiting off of it but I will tell you the ingredients because the ingredients here are listed so the first ingredient is hydroquinone I don't really know what that does um second one is tretinoin next one is hydrocrostisone I'm gonna, I am familiar with tretinoin tretinoin is also known as retin-a and it's a really really like holy grail for people who have acne you can get retin-a but you can actually buy it you don't need to have like a prescription for it but don't use it every single day if your skin is super sensitive or else your skin will purge I'm not saying that purging is bad for your skin be extra careful do your research don't just like look at the packaging or anything like that this one has nice gold packaging don't buy things just because of the brand like it's you have to put your time and effort into it you can't just watch a youtuber's like i know that sounds so hypocritical because i'm making a youtube video right now but you can't just like look at somebody's skincare routine because our skin is like so different and every single ingredient is so important to take note of it's so pretty it's like gold it doesn't want to focus it literally hates all of you use your middle ear not your middle finger <laughs> um Use your ring finger to do this because apparently that's the gentlest finger. That's all I do. I don't really want to do much. Think about it. Like if you're going to put like five products on your face and then you start to break out, it's going to be difficult to find out which of those five products, which specific ingredient is bad for you. So just know. And now I would split my hair in half. I look like Tana Mojo. <laughs> and then I would take it up into like a piggy tail. That was nasty. And then start putting it into a bun. And the way I put it into a bun is I want to make sure that it's not like on the back of my head. Kind of like more of on the sides of my head. Because you know when you watch like those videos of people like doing heatless curls. And they put on like rolls or like I don't know like a banana. <laughs> then they go like okay I'm just gonna go to sleep like this. And then you're like how the hell this method. I'm not saying that it's a superior method. But this method is gonna let you sleep really comfortably on like the back like when you lie back but if you don't lie back and you like lie on your side then you can also like do it like kind of on the top you can even do just like one bun or four buns if you're feeling crazy and then i'm gonna go to sleep and then i'll see you tomorrow when this is all done Good morning, babes. My buns have been on for a solid four hours because I slept at 4 a.m. last night. <laughs> so the way I take this out is I take out the hair ties manually first. Like, I don't, like, pull out the bun. Now, I know it looks so dumb. I usually like don't do anything just to wait for it to unravel itself but since I'm filming a video style it myself I guess so I would like split it don't brush through it or else you can have to, you can have to burn. Yes I had pandesal and omelette oh don't brush your hair or else you're fucked, love. Yes, queen. The only time I use heat is when I do my bangs. We're back. We're back in my bathroom. This is a straightener that I use for my bangs. It's like nice because it's like really small. I'll link it down below. I just got it online and it's too dark. Tie it back real quick so I can like separate it. I'm going to wait for my tiny straightener to heat up. From seven. Yeah. They're already way too long and I need to trim. I would take the straightener and then I would curve it to the other side. That looks dumb, but I just keep doing that. For the longer bits, I would just curl it like how you would normally curl it. Let's go back to where the lighting is nice. And this is what the curls look like. I swear, sometimes it looks better on other days. So that's basically how I do it. Like, I don't put hairspray or anything on it. It stays pretty long. I, I know, like, some people with, like, super, super straight hair, it's pretty difficult for them, for their hair to, like, hold curls. I feel like having your hair a little bit damaged is good because it has, like, that texture and stuff. That is the end of this video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that you have learned something because this is an education channel it's not family friendly but educational please subscribe to my channel i'm literally begging you please like this video please leave a comment please give me interaction like 